All right, YouTube, I have uh, another beautiful set box of Keldeheim, the Norse and uh, Viking based um, Magic the Gathering set. I'm going to open this up. We're going to pull out the art cards and rare mythic cards. Um, full art lands, full art cards, whatever we can get. Showcase. Um, unfortunately, this particular set doesn't come with a expedition of any sorts, which is not a big deal, really. I, I, this set has, in my opinion, is stacked in its playability. Um, if you're playing standard right now, I think you're probably enjoying standard um, because it's just been good. Uh, the the set itself has been absolutely a blast to play with. Um, oh, cool! It has pull tabs. Forget about that. Uh, it's been an absolute blast to play with. Um, cool. Uh, and the cards are on power curve. I know a lot of people complain that the power of this set has gotten a little out of control. Um, I think it's I think it's perfect with it with with ramping up the power like they did, but continuing to ramp up the power with set set and set. Not necessarily ramping up, but keeping that power level. It does kind of make older cards a little bit less useful. But um, this is a cool card, um, real good draft card. Uh, Canopy tactician, another elf. This is obviously our elf, uh, and our foil is. So, I'm sorry, I got lost. Um, the the playability of these cards, the older cards are probably not as playable as they were in comparison. But even then, like I don't really feel like modern is suffering in any sense. So, like other than not being able to be played. Um, uh, in live so like that's kind of a bummer but for the most part um it's the standard itself is is working great we got fridges retribution good card um or beals uh it's a strange oh a snow card i'm gonna say that's a strange card to have in that slot and our foil is god hall guardian um yeah so so realistically, uh, I'm thinking um, from what I've been seeing previews for the new Strixhaven set, and I gotta lie, I'm pretty excited about it, as with everybody. And I get that. Here's a Totsky. Love this card. This guy is just absolutely busted. He's introduced a lot of exile um, sorceries and instants in the game because he can he can win a game with the card advantage he can generate. It's just. You have to get rid of them, take care of them. Hey, we got ourselves a nice dark shore pathway. This is actually the deck I've been uh, playing on Arena, um, and I'd like to take to my Friday Night Magic is a custom-made Finfec type deck I uh, I made, um, and I made it based on uh, what I'd seen in Arena. I not I I'd seen other people beat me with it, and I seen what they were doing, and I went and uh, I went and. Uh, found cards that are similar and then kind of reworked it to something I would prefer playing and had in um, arena cards. I don't have all the cards in arena. I don't spend any money on arena. So like it's, it's very, it's very hard for me to um, play the top tier decks, but I've gotten to diamond two with my Finfec deck. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, it's been great. It works great. Got ourselves a snow sinkhole. Um, it's a fun deck to play. Uh, I and, it, and it's working. Drog Necromancer or Dugar or whatever you're gonna call it. We got ourselves another rare dual light rare pack. Love those. Certland Flinger. I am gonna have to work out a giant deck. I have not played a giant deck though. They look like a lot of fun because the tribal there from this set has made it um, made it playable and like. I don't know if it's the most po well, I, I, the most powerful at least on um, Arena and uh, MTGO is that Yorian. You see it everywhere. Like it's a hard deck to beat. And yeah, we're getting some cool cards. This is I love that. All right. Um, yeah, Yorian seems to be the card I'm seeing all the time. Sweet, we got ourselves a God of the Voyage showcase card. It's a 
rare with the Omni Keel. Cool. I love these flip cards. I love the flip cards in the cool border and avalanche color. This is a good card. It's its ability to turn one of your snowlands into a 4-4 is huge in draft. Angel Protector Rare. Oh, man, that was a triple pack, a triple rare pack. Good deal. We got ourselves a glorious protector. Another good card. Um, I've been seeing this card played in, in the uh, mono white decks, and I've seen it a few times in the Yorian deck as like additional protection against some of the more wider decks. Though with the sweepers that people have been able to run with the exile and stuff, uh, I don't know if Yorian is really that big of a problem. Hey, I think this is one we just got, got of the voyage, right? Yep, Yorian, or not Yorian, sorry, Cosmos. All right, cool. All right, Cease of Spoil, Smashing Success. Vega the Watcher. All right, Graven Lore. Sorry, Graven Lore. I'm priest of the Haunted Edge and Pilfering Hawk. Love the Pilfering Hawk. Works great. Oh, our first, our first um, uh, set list card, and it is from the Kamigawa block. I'm not sure if this is Champions or Betrayer. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't playing in that time, so I don't, I don't know that um, particular set very well. Uh, could be champions. I think champions. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Either way, it's from the Kamigawa block. Cool card. I'll shout out the uh, artist name from now on. Manuel Castiana. This is probably going to be a terrible idea, but might as well. I love the art cards. I think the artists who've been doing them, now there have been some recent art news <laughs> that have not been great, but I'm gonna stay out of that for now. All right, Instrum Predator, great card. Magda, Brazen Outlaw, this guy's pretty sweet. Love the Dwarf Berserker Tribal. And we're getting some sweet uh, showcase cards. I love this, Sabella, Ice Shaper, very cool. Shackles of Treachery. And just a token or junk card. Oh. Um, have you guys played this uh, this time around? Have you gotten? Have you built your own decks? Are you are you just are you more Ryan Penacros with a resplendent marshal? Great looking, great looking angel. Um, I uh, have you played? Have you built your own decks? What's your favorite? What's your? F oh man, that was a bad idea. What's your favorite deck? Like what? What decks do it for you? Like, what kind of tribal is your favorite tribal? Like, what deck do you plan on building um, coming up? Are you into other card games? <laughs> I know this channel is kind of a free for all sometimes. We got Redane, God of the Worthy, another modal card with a uh, Volcom here. This this card can um, let a, this card can pretty much shut down my this deck here, my Fin the Fang Bearer. This is a uh, this is the Poison deck that I've been running. He's so good. I love it. And I'm glad to see that I got a showcase of his card because I'd like to actually build that. Um, great runes are impressive for draft. Um, but that that god, uh, it can be a real butt against my deck because a bunch of my stuff is just little 1-1s one hitting for one damage. And if it, if it can uh, stop one damage, it's enough to shut my deck down. Lucas... Graciano, the Quake Breaker. This guy is cool too. He's the he's damage. Even if you kill him, he can he can still hurt you. You gotta get rid of him. You gotta exile him. Well, we got ourselves a mythic. Gotta remember not to do that. Oops. We got ourselves Tolrough, God of Fury. This guy's a pretty crazy uh, crazy card. We just seen him actually. I saw him in a a commander game on in on the internet and it was used quite well frost auger snake veil snake skin veil this is a pretty decent card gives your card hex proof which is really useful in those it's only, it's like kind of a green counter uh, uh, versus like instance or sorceries against creatures uh, that you control and it can uh, it can definitely help um, I don't know. Let me double check. I don't think it actually works on creatures they control. You control, yeah. Okay, so you can't actually use it on um, 
another person's creature. That would be busted. All right, we got Danto, G Cola, or Gianna, Gian, Gian, Gian Cola. Man, whew, funeral longboat. Another good card. Great piece of art too. All right, let's see. Going back to the rare. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a showcase boring Clex monstrous raider. How sweet is that? These this guy is busted, and man, his cards are stinkingly expensive. So that will probably get sleeved up pretty quickly once this video is over. But uh, that's a that's a pretty cool looking piece of art, man. He's just chewing, chewing, chewing that person up. He's got that little crushed person just chewing him up. Ah, oh. art. The showcase art is crazy. Look how creepy that is. All the dead skulls. Frigia. Man, this set. Love it. I am so happy that the... Oh my gosh, a training ground? Oh, I am just on fire today. These set, these set cards can sometimes just be out of control. Training ground, that's a busted card. That's a that's a winner. I, uh, this was a winning pack here. I, I think... I think uh, that, that pack here... Is a definite winner. I think that that I think that almost itself pays for the entire box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This and this set was not doing well when it first came out, uh, value wise. Eskil, God of the Tree. It has definitely come back um, on its value. It's not anywhere near Theros right now. Theros at the first quarter of 2021 is busted. Righteous Valkyrie. You can. The EV on that set is a little uh, upside down. Um, Mammoth Growth, great, great draft card. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much make money opening boxes of Theros uh, Beyond Death right now. It, it, boxes were going for uh, draft boxes, because they don't have set top boxes for Theros, just draft and collectors. Um, oh, Bram sells. Inger Eye. Oh, cool. We, Bram's got a nice signature. Very cool. Love it. Thank you, Bram. Um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Theros, Beyond uh, Death. It's It only got collector boxes and draft boosters boxes. But you can get the draft boosters. Well, you could. I don't know if you can still. For about 60 or 70 Oh no, sorry. Uh, 80 or $90. And their EV is close to 110 130 somewhere in there. So there's definitely money to be made. Opening packs. A set of spirit, great card. Another another uh Redain, God of the Worthy. Not gonna complain. Um I love this card. Love to hate it. Frostbite. Great, great card. And Bind the Monster, another great card. Um punishes you if you try to bind a really strong monster, but man, in draft, it can be a lifesaver. All right, let's see. And for that one blue mana, Lee Sietia Set Set Wayne Setia Wayne Lay Setia Wayne. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but it's Finn the Fang Bearer, and I am a huge fan of of this card. It's taken me a long way in arena foil land. Um, Jorn, God of Winter. This guy, um, I wish we had more snow permanents to make more use of this guy. Um, he's really good in the right deck, but I, I don't know. I, I, there's not enough snow permanents in standard. Maybe he's got some use. I think he could be very useful in, like, Commander. Inga, uh, bird creature, Battlefield Raptor, A little first striker, flyer. Uh, good card. All right. Sorry, guys. I, I need to spend oh, another lay. Uh, Lee. Setavan. Seta. Setawan. Halvar. God of battle. This is a good god, too. Very cool. Getting our good card. Guard cards. Uh, god cards. Got my merge mixed up. Oh, another Finn. We got ourselves a Tyrite Sanctum. Rare. Sculptor of Winter. And a Wither Crown. Oh, another rare Forced Fruition. 
This is a busted card. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player draws seven cards. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player draws... I don't know who would run this card, but... It would, uh... I'm going to have to look into that, because that looks like a really bad card to run. Give your opponents extra seven cards? I guess if... I guess you could kind of card flood them, and then they'd be forced to... Forced to discard. Maybe that's how you're doing it. You're trying to discard them out. All right, we got Cosima, God Serpent. That's a... Or Serpent. Not God Serpent. It's a Coma, or Comma... Cosmo Serpent, sorry. My, I um, need to slow down a little bit, but speed up. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a Gold Span Dragon Mythic. This guy is a, he's a workhorse. We got ourselves another Pathway. Love that Pathway. It's perfect Pathway. White Blue. We got ourselves Hailstrom Valkyrie and a Scorned Effigy. Um, Yeah, the uh, that Dragon. Uh, it's a workhorse. It's... That hasting treasure generation is just bonkers. All right. Chris Rollis, Tyra Bar Kel. He is a planeswalker. I, don't, I think I have one. I think I pulled one in an earlier box. All right. We got ourselves another god. Kolbari, god of kinship. He is a mana generator, mana rock for... Uh, creature spells, or creature, legendary creature spells, and um, tribes. So, very cool. I gotta stop bumping into these things. My camera's right in front of where my hands are, so it's like I'm kind of messing up. Oh, we got ourselves another set card from the, looks like Stronghold. Calming Lissid. Calming Lissid loses the ability to, and becomes a creature enchantment that reads enchanted creature cannot attack instead of a creature move calming listed onto target creature you may pay one to end this oh this is a moving um pacify man that that's really cool i'm gonna have to work that into a uh, deck i love pulling cards that i haven't seen in a long while remembering how they work i don't know if i remember that card but remembering how they work and seeing if i can maybe build a deck around them um Another Chris, oh wait, no, this is Chris Rons. This is, oh, sorry guys, there, my phone. All right, Cardu Doom Scourge. Look at that. Creepy, like, Minotaur of some sort. Demon Minotaur. Uh, foil Land. And we got ourselves the card. Cardu Doom Scourge. When Cardu Doom Scourge enters the battlefield, until your next turn, creatures you can contr opponent control attack each a combat if able, and attack a player other than you if able. Oh man! Oh, this guy would be cool to like. Whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Ooh, I kind of want to build this guy into a um into a commander. I love the idea of forcing players to attack other players. We got ourselves a tundra fuma roll, a replicant ring. And a foil dwarven reinforcements. Hey, I think I think I got a triplicate spirit last time um, in a Zendikar box. So get a little duplication, but from different boxes, different sets even. So, all right, let's see. Our art is Stephen, our Steve Prescott, the Mist Walker. I like this card, a little Raven Wizard. All righty, we have ourselves Rally the Ranks. Oh, got ourselves a sweet uh, saw roof, Realm Eater. I like this card, and I love it in the showcase. Getting the best showcases this time. Boreal Outrider and the Foil Rider Raider uh, card. So this has been a perfect box opening for me. I, I'm getting a lot of the showcases. I'm getting a lot of the art cards that I like. Um, and I, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Focus is getting lost, but... All right, we got Jason Rainville, Dog to Pursuit. I like this card. It's Kyra. Or Kaya. All right. 
Raven's Warning. Nice rare uh, saga. Shimmer Veil. And our foil is Wings of the Cosmos. Replicating ring. All right. I guess you do need a lot of those replica, at least eight of them, right? For the, if you can get that replicating ring to go off, it'd, it'd be nice to have those in there. All right, so let's see. Chris Cold, Icebreaker Kraken. Man, that just seems pretty poignant. Chris Cold, making an Icebreaker card. I feel like they almost made him do that. Well, Chris, he made a frightening Kraken. All right, that guy was creepy looking. All right, to Bolt's Trickery. Ah, this card is more annoying than useful. All right, Icebound Pillar. Uh, foil is Shimmer Veil. Yeah, everybody wants to pull off that amazing turn two win with the Tibolt. And I see so many people tried. And some, some succeeded, but a lot had just failed. All right, Path to the World Tree by Daniel Jungren. Beautiful Northern Lights effect, which is cool. All right, we got ourselves an Old Growth Troll. I actually like this card. I like those triple card green cards. We got ourselves another Mythic with All Run, God of the Cosmos. He turns into a bird. Um, or not turns into a bird. He can come in as a bird. And this guy uh, is just... He allows you to ping... Scry two and then come back to your hand. He's pretty great. I don't know if he's been used effectively, but he's pretty great. All right, Carfell, the Kennel Master. And then I'm going to have to move these out of the way because I'm bumping into them and they're falling over. All right. We only have a few more packs left. I mean, we still have most of the third stack, but uh, we're doing good. We're doing well. Let's see what we got here. We got Vault Rubber. My Slomir Manic. Sorry, guys, if I'm butchering your names. If you ever see these videos, I don't, I'm not sure you will. But if you do, I apologize. All right, let's see. Vault Relic. Cool. All right. Clarion Spirit. We have ourselves a another sweet... God in a, um, a, uh, whatchamacallit, the showcase frame with Egon, Death of, uh, God of Death. I love this guy. He is a very inexpensive 6-6 six, six with Death Touch. You have to have some cards milled in your deck, but it's not too bad. Goes really good with, um, uh, anything that mills your deck out. Uh, the Meyer, the little zombie 2-1. Uh, works pretty good. Pilfering Hawk and oh wait, we got ourselves a, another uh, set card. We got ourselves another rare. Okay, guys, we're out of control. We're out of control. We're on. Well, this is the Marauding Raptor. This guy, uh, creatures spells you cast cost one less. Sweet. Uh, when another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it. If it's a dinosaur. If a dinosaur is dealt damage this way, Marauding Raptor gets a plus two, plus zero. This guy is part of a combo that causes like a like the polymorphing Raptor. Oh wait, this yeah, that's actually the thing. I think that there's a there's a Raptor from the Ixalan set that uh, makes a copy of himself every time it gets damaged, and it's a dinosaur. So it was it was busted. Oh wait, let's uh let's artist corner Andre Kuzinski. Ice Hide Troll. I like the Ice Hide Troll. I like trolls in this set. Trolls in this set finally felt good. And that's awesome. Wizards did all right with the Ice Hide. All right, we got ourselves Varagoth. Bloody Sire. Spirit. Struggle from Skem Far. And a Zombie Berserker. I feel like Zombie Berserker is kind of a weird creature type. Must be one of those 21 Day Zombies. All right. We got ourselves Kieran Yonner, Search for Glory. Too far. Beautiful Nico card with the, looks like Coma and, um, oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we've seen a card. Hopefully we'll see it right now. 
Let's see. Bears, Bears of Lajara. Priest. Oh, wait, this doesn't go here. Priest of Haunting Edge and a Demon Bolt. Uh, only a couple more packs. We've got our signed card already. We got our, we got a couple set cards. We we got Narfi Betrayer King by Darkin. Narfi was a cool looking card. It kind of reminds me of something out of Lord of the Rings, which Magic is apparently partnering up with. Pyre of Heroes. Another God card. Oh, wait, no, this is just legendary creature. Sigrid, god favored. Just a favorite of the gods. We got ourselves Cole the Forge Master. An Axard, uh, Axe Guard Braggart. Foil. And a treasure token. All right, five packs left. I'm going to try to speed this up, but we're still going to keep featuring these artists because that's good for us. Alex Constrad, Boral Outrider. We've seen this guy a couple times. A uh, little elven... Uh, an elf riding an elk. Or Boreal. Oh, right. We got ourselves another god. We got Briggy, god of storytelling. Or Briggy. She flips over to be the Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Discard a card. Excel the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. Really great card for red, red decks. Red burns. All right. We got ourselves a Frost Augur and our Trickster God Heist foil card. Little foil saga. I actually like the foil sagas. I think I think sagas may be one of my favorite um, card designs that they've done recently. I love that. I love the look uh, of a saga. I, I, I like the text on the side and that long art. I don't know. I like them. All right. Andrew or Andre Kaczynski. Sorry, how Kaczynski. Yeah, it's Kaczynski. Cyclone Summoner. This is a this is a bonkers card. Bounces all your stuff. All right. Elven Ambush. Boreal Outrider. Uh, Crippling Fear. This is a good card. This is one of the sweepers I was talking about. Messes with me pretty hard. Crippling Fear. Got another rare. Dual rare pack. And Cleaving Reaper. A triple rare pack with a god foil card. Kolvari, God of Kinship. And this will be a straight foil forever because it's foiled on both sides with the Ring Heart Crest. Look at that. It'll stay, well, looks, yeah, it's pretty straight. It'll probably stay straight forever. Because you have uh, opposite and equal reactions. I really wish Wizard would just print the back side of this card here, which, cool, we got a set card. Just make it foil and just print over top of it. It would, it would, fix so many problems. All right. Chris Ron, we got Agar the Freezing Flame. Oh, a double signed box. This is sweet. And that makes my day. This is a giant with the Freezing Flame. All right. Sweet. All right. We got ourselves a Cosmos Charger. Nice flashing three. Oh, a full art Kaya the exo, uh, exo this guy the Kaya this guy is actually really useful. She's she's in good shape. This is a good card, inexorable. Very cool. Love the love getting the cool full arts. And this box has been stacked. There's so a demonic gift and a cadaverous knight from Mirage flanking. Whenever a creature without flanking is assigned to block this creature, the blocking creature gets a negative one, negative one. And it regenerates. Man, regenerate was a bonker mechanic. It really, uh, it really changed how people would move from main phase to combat phase. Like you would oftentimes, um, hey, we got ourselves a Young Ja Chow Choi, Young Jai, Young Young Jai Choi. I don't know. I'm I'm butchering your name. I'm sorry, but we got Valaki or Valaki, God of Lies. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm like, it does not look like it. Creepy face to bolt, you little face stealer. All right. All right, we got ourselves Reflections of Litanjara. Great card. Herald, King of Skemfar. Foil Runamuck, which is good card. 
And a spirit token. Last pack. Will we get something crazy spicy in the close? Another sign card. Another foil mythic. Uh, something sweet. Um, another card like that. Uh, borderless card. Jason A. Angle. Masked Vandal. I hope you're sign signed. Let's see. You are not signed, but still a great looking card. All right. Next. Let's see, we got ourselves a Showdown of the Skulls. This is a great card. We did, we got ourselves a Totski Bearer of Secrets. Another double rare pack in the close. Totski's an amazing card. A Bergstrider, a foil triple rare pack in the close. This is absolutely amazing. And a list card. Uh, Mass Wood Nexus. This card had a lot of a lot of hype around it. And we got ourselves a Commander. 19 reality shift uh, card um, as a set card. So all in all, this box was uh, lit. Sorry for the really long video. Uh, I was taking my time. I should try to speed it up. Thanks, everybody. Peace.